Lithosphere. Now, like we briefly discussed earlier, lithosphere is the part of the Earth which is solid. So, what do you mean by that? If you look at the map on the right side, basically all these portions which are green, green, light green, yellow, orange, and other colors are the portions which are solid. Okay, what I mean by that is that the portions which are represented in white in these spaces are basically the oceans which are full of rivers okay and water so the solid portion of the earth whether it's the mountain which we see around us whether it's the land on which our houses are built the solid portion of the earth is basically known as lithosphere right and not the ocean the part covered by the ocean is called what? We discussed that in the earlier video. It is called hydrosphere and we will study about that in detail in the subsequent video. Now if I talk about the solid portion, like I said, you know, it's even the land where your houses are made, where big commercial buildings are made, where the mountains are made, it's that portion of the land is known as lithosphere. Now lithosphere, if we basically talk about, has these characteristics or it is divided into these large land masses if I may call it what is meant by land masses these are land masses accumulation of land and they are broadly divided into seven and these are known as what these are known as continents so like you see here it's the seven continents which are there right so these seven continents are large masses of land and interestingly, if you see, the balanced part of the earth is actually covered by water. Right? An interesting fact is that all these water bodies are connected to each other, unlike the land. Right? Because if you see, when we talk about Africa, which is represented by this yellow piece, it's not connected to South America. Similarly, Australia is not necessarily connected to Asia. And these seven land masses, known as seven continents, and I'm sure if you're watching this video, you are also on one of these seven are Asia, okay, which happens to be the largest continent on earth, okay, and approximately covers around one third of the total land on earth, right? It is predominantly lying in the eastern hemisphere. Can we identify Asia, please? It is the one which is represented over here, this portion. Even these are covered, right? So this is what Asia is. But visually only you can see that this supposedly is the largest amount of land mass. Then you have Europe, which is this part. So now if you compare this to Asia, it's comparatively quite small, right? The next one is Africa, okay, and Africa happens to be the second largest continent after Asia. The interesting thing is that if you see the equator, it almost passes through central of Africa, right? So the equator actually passes through middle of Africa, almost middle, and you would be I am surprised to see that Africa is also the only continent where equator, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, all the three of them pass. Now we know what these are exactly, we discussed that in one of the earlier videos where that we saw. And then you have other continents which is North America and South America. So if we go back to this particular thing, here we are with South America and here is North America. And you have Australia, which is the smallest continent. Right? And then you have Antarctica. Okay? Antarctica lies in the southern continent. Okay? It's completely in south. So if you see, 
This is completely in the southern part of the continent, right? And if you notice, the South Pole is also kind of in the middle of this Antarctica. So all these land parcels, these parcels which are created, the land masses which are there, is known as lithosphere. So you don't have water over them, there might be small rivers and everything which is there, but these are masses of land. 